My name is John Zeisel. I do several things in this field. One is I have uh, recently written a book called I'm Still Here. It's about uh, a philosophy and a way of thinking about people with dementia. I manage residences for people with dementia, where people live and where we give them care, and where we focus on the non-pharmacologic approaches uh, and towards how they, to help them be themselves. Non-pharmacologic approaches that um, help them get along and be more normal. I also run a foundation, president of a foundation, where we develop new ways of working with people who have dementia, ways, non-pharmacologic ways of doing, doing care and treatment. And um, we have six treatment uh, residences, three around New York, one in New York and around it, and three in Boston, in the, in the area around Boston. And we also have what we call affiliates, which is people who say they would like to take the I'm still here approach and use it in the way they care for other people. And we work with them to take our approach from specific activities all the way up to management approaches and leadership. So those are the, that's who I am. That's what we do. I'm, I'm basically, uh, my background uh, is a so, as in sociology. So my background is in the social sciences and how to use the environment, the physical environment, the social environment to improve what we call the four A's of Alzheimer's to reduce agitation, aggression, anxiety, and apathy, and to increase self-awareness, choice, memories, and even people's ability to speak about things. The most important issue today is to, to take out this non-pharmacologic approach from the medical model. Almost all the care that is given in dementia today, all the research that is done today, all of the approaches that we use, even the phrase non-pharmacological, is rooted in a, a, a way of thinking about illness, uh, about what people can't do, about deficits. And this has dominated many people's thinking up until today. And the most important thing that we can do is to create an alternative way of thinking, an alternative paradigm, which, um, which won't be instead of, and it won't be a battle between them, it will be side by side. The image I have, and it comes from a professor, a leading professor of mine in sociology named Robert Merton, is that we need new glasses. And he always would stop in the middle of lectures and people would come back to listen to him speak over and over. And he would say, what I'm giving you is a, some glasses to see the world. And that's Merton glasses or sociology glasses. And I think we are now, the most important thing that is happening is we are on the verge, on the edge of creating new glasses. And they are not instead of medications instead of pharmacology. We have the pharmacology and the medical glasses and they are bridged to this new way of thinking uh, which, which seems to be something that takes not only into account what we do but where it leads. So we could call it a pathway approach that leads to people having choice, to people having engagement, to people having uh, a sense of who they are, which then leads to the needs of all human beings for dignity, for care, for self-awareness, for independence. And this is the new way, uh, and I think is taking place today, and it's the most important issue there is. And in terms of the future, the future is going to hold a way of living with dementia, a way of being in the world in which people with dementia will be another participant in human society. 
so that all theaters, all museums, all cultural institutions uh, will, will open their doors to people with dementia as well as everybody else. So today, if you say I'm in a wheelchair, I have to go to the theater, there is a ramp, there is a place to sit, there's a certain place, it's all prepared. There's an elevator or something of this sort, it's all prepared. We no longer say because you are physically disabled, you can't be part of society. Um, and the future is going to be a future in which people with dementia, just like people who are now disabled, are part of society, whether they are at cultural institutions or whether they are uh, in policy-making decisions about themselves, that the world will change enough so that these people are no longer disabled, but these people are full participants. And that will enrich us all. It will enrich uh, those who happen to be living with the dementia. It will also enrich those people in the meeting and uh, make, make us all more aware of the richness of human life. So the future is one in which we will be able to hear people saying, I'm still here, whether it be autism, whether it be mental illness, whether it be physical disability, but included in this will be people with dementia who will no longer be excluded and exiled from society, who will be sitting at the next chair with us and saying the things that are as interesting as we are saying because they are people just like us. <laughs>